What is up everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today is, I don't know, but that's besides the point. Today we're at one of my favorite creeks. As you can see, there's a bit of a change of scenery here, but a huge snowstorm. I mean, most of you guys in Northeast know about that. We got absolutely dumped on. We didn't get as much of snow as I said we would, um, but I'm hoping that this extra amount of precipitation fired up the trout in these creeks. So today we've got this little lure, which you probably can't see it focused in on, but this is the Eurotackle Z Spinner. Eurotackle is nice enough to send me a bunch of different lures um, just to try out. Like it's not even paid. Like they just gave to me like, hey, you want to fish with some of our lures? I was like, okay. So they sent me some of these, including the Eurotackle Z Spinner as a trout fisherman. I had to get jerk baits. So I picked up a few of these Z Spinners as well as some B Vibe Z Vibers and some of their uh, jig heads as well. Um, but today we're going to try out these creeks with my ultralight and four pound test and hopefully we can knock some awesome wild brown trout so please stay tuned all right guys first little hole right here got some turbulent water it's shallow should be able to finesse a trout out of here if they're in here all right we're just gonna flick the z spinner in and we're gonna let it float back in the current because I want to hit the whole hole. Normally they sit far back. All right. Then we're just going to fish it slow. Oh, of course it picked up weeds. Oh, just dude, just, just let me fish this hole properly for once. Holy Last time I was here, I had absolutely no problem fishing this the way it was supposed to be fished. Alright, we've got to get one out of here. Oh, yeah, see, that was immediate. <laughs> Literally instant. I knew right under that log jam that there'd be some fish in there. <sighs> Look at that, guys. A little brown trout in the Z Spender. Love it. We love to see it. All right, guys, there's our first trout of the day, little brown trout. Let's send him on his way. See you later, dude. Have a good day. Sorry for catching you. I don't normally fish these spots over here because they're typically not good anymore unless you're like a diehard fly fisherman just because the water clarity here is extremely clear and low. So um, unless you're like a nymph, you're probably not going to catch much. But you never know. I have a new jerk. It's at this creek has probably never seen before so we're gonna give it a shot and hopefully land some big fish if not we'll head to my normal areas and definitely crack some giants oh there went a fish oh my god oh my god oh oh big rainbow came out of nowhere oh my gosh another one flashing on it Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh boy. There's some good fish attacking this jerkbait. There he is. He's not gonna eat it. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he doesn't want it like that. All right, let's see. Sometimes we can pick apart a fish in this current. Nope. I'm gonna let it float to the back of the hole. Oh, there's one. Oh no, no. Okay, all right. All right, there we go, guys. The first fish in the Z-Spender is clearly a spawned out fish, but still pretty. Not a big fish at all, but that's a start.
That's cool, first fish. There's, There's a fish, fish in that one. Oh, there's, there's one. one. No, no, nice nicer fish. fish. Not, Not much, much bigger, bigger, but it's bigger. bigger. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I, I love, love brown trout. <sighs> <clears throat> oh, I just casted right on top of a few fish. Come on, come on, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah, there we go. Yep, see, just little guys. There's a few others swimming around in there too, but... <laughs> not, not after that, no. <laughs> Today is going surprisingly well. I honestly didn't think that I was really going to catch anything. But, you know, always prove wrong. Oh, here comes another fish. Oh, or not. I see footprints all over the place. This place has been getting hit pretty hard, so... I am surprised that I'm doing so well. The cool part about this part of the creek is it's very, very shallow. So you can actually see there's reds right there, reds right there, reds right there. And that's why I'm not wading today. If you guys can see, I have regular shoes on, so I'm just casting them to the shore because it is post-spawn. All the fish I caught today are post-spawn. Um, but there are reds still, and I don't want to step in them and, you know, ruin the population here. There's no native species in this creek, so it doesn't really matter that I'm letting them live. You know, I know a lot of people will be like, well, they're just browns, they're just invasive, you know, step on the reds, it doesn't matter, they're eating the brookies. Well, in this case, there's nothing in here besides white sucker when it comes to native species. So, unfortunately, there's not much I can do. All right, guys, that about concludes it for this section. We're going to hop in the car and we're going to drive just like half a mile north and we're just going to park in one of the other parking lots because we're going to fish more there and I just want to save some time walking back. So, we're going to head back to the car. Keep the Z-Spender on and hopefully get some more fish at the other spot, and I know we will. Unless someone else has fished it, then we probably won't catch anything. But I'm surprised that I caught three fish here, and I probably should have caught five or six or maybe even seven. But, you know, user error, just like me, I suck at fishing. But um, we'll get to the next spot, and hopefully it's a lot better. Oh, ew. Uh, what? Why don't we start off at the trees over there? I don't really catch them there. Where at? Oh, nice one. Feels feels nice in the Really? Is that the same one I caught last time? Oh, he's not using that face. Oh, there's a lot bigger because there's slips on this bottom. Yeah. Don't, don't. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go to that bridge after this. Yeah. Adios, little guy. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you see it? Oh, oh nice what? One. Yeah, that's a pretty damn decent one. Why wouldn't he hit it? I hope he comes out and smacks yours. Oh, you had something under it. What the f***? Why wouldn't he eat it? Did you see the way he was swimming? That's pretty weird. Oh, there's one. I don't know if that's the same one. It might be. I don't think so. Not really. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. 
we'll either drop him there or drop him on the ground, so. What the fuck? Why is he going that way? Wait, he might have fished the bridge already then. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh, got, got one. Yeah. <laughs> they cannot catch trout. Damn it. Well, it's going to be nice because the, the rain is like blocking their point of view so they can't see us. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Me. Oh, a fish just hit a, f a bug. You do? Yes! Oh, it's a nice one. No way, you banged one off the bridge. No, it's like 14. That's like 14. 14? Just wait until it comes out of the water, you'll see. Yeah. No way, I can't believe you, we actually hooked it. Banged him in the bridge! Banged him in the bridge! Do you have a stringer? <laughs> it's not 15. That's... Get a new net. Jesus, dude, chill. Another gorgeous wild brown. That thing was freaking out and jumping. Another beautiful brown. Dude, that was about an 18 inch brown. Ah, come on. There's one. Jumping like crazy. Not as big as the last one they just lost. It's a nice one for sure. I, I doubt this is the same one I lost, but it's a very similar fish. Crushed the husky jerk. 
It's a beautiful wild rock. Let's get the hooks out. See you there, buddy.